Dust and Normies. We're back to watch more of Better Call Saul. Better I didn't say Saul. Breaking Bad, but Better I said Better Call Saul. Call Saul. Bre Better Call. Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Bread. This is episode, what is it? Shit. Five. Is it episode five of Chick Chicanery. 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 So guys, we uh we uh we just saw ah, some things go down. What Donna see? Donna Ladio came back. Mm-hmm. Um, so Mike had Saul had Mike take some pictures of, of uh, the, Chuck's the, the door, I guess. I uh, like no, they like uh, they like changed the door a pair, dude. Like information, like another person was supposed to come fix his door, yes. but they sent Mike instead. Yeah, yes. but then he took pictures, and yeah. then he showed Saul. I and mean, we don't know what Saul is exactly going to do. No. With the pictures, we don't know. What's both sides are obtaining evidence illegally, and yeah. Gus but offered... it's going to be admissible or not. Yeah, well, it's going like, to be. It, well, they're going to give it to the bar, and like uh, Hamlin said, uh, the bar like they, they leave no stone unturned. Or yeah, whatever. they're not. They're they're a little bit more. They're they're they're, they're more. They'll accept the evidence. They'll yeah. scrutinize the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're not. They're not one to say no. They're not the accept it, but they'll definitely take it into consideration because they're not. They're not as you know whatever. Yeah. The rules are a little loose. We got all of our sabrositos here. Except uh, Mike. We have his Mikey. We need to glue him together. His head. He lost his head. <gasps> you guys broke Luke. Well, he's broken. <laughs> I mean, we need to glue him. It didn't. It just broke. Where is it? Though? It was running. It's in a dr What? You, you broke pop pop. <laughs> you heard it. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. It just fell. <laughs> Damn. Hey, get off of Money High Spoilers! Oh, wait, my Jesus bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, before we start, guys, remember this is not a market substitute for the actual Better Call Saul show. Please support the OG content. Check it out on Netflix. That's what we're watching it on. You know, if you want to jump ahead, please check out our Patreon. I think we're like eight episodes ahead on there. Uh, our uncuts are on there as well. If you can't do either of that, please comment, like, subscribe. There's a bell right there for notification. All of you guys, please subscribe, which is, yeah, it helps us out. So, remember that, uh... Oh my god, I'm like, Normicon? Yes, I'm so blessed. Normicon! Yeah. Yeah. August 7th, 8th, and 9th this year, guys. We got Normicon. It's gonna be party in the studio. We're gonna have games. We're gonna have uh, some guest reactors here from other channels. It'll be a lot of fun. I dunk uh, Stay tuned for more info. Register. The link is down below. You can dunk awesome. me. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You can dunk us. if you want to. See, that's why you guys gotta have a team, man. Team helps you out when you fuck up. Dreamwork uh, makes the team work? Exactly. Yes. You got a phone, the yard's half mode, sockets and stuff are looking A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna check again just to make sure we're almost there. Good. Oh, Look how much Jimmy's helping oh. his brother out. I like, know. come on, Chuck. Why are you... Why did you have to be such an a-hole? Yeah, I'm not this. Because mm -hmm. Mama said his name. You sure this is the right plan? <laughs> I mean, in my experience, the bigger the lie, the harder it can be to dig out. The outside of the lie? Hmm. What was he referring to? The bigger the lie, the, the harder. The, yeah, so I feel like he, this is all set up. Mm, I think they may have been referring to something else. This is a fire hazard. It really is. <laughs> so it was like in the good old days. Yeah. Back in the day. Who's he cooking Ooh, dinner for? Fire himself. Fire himself. Ooh, damn, all right. Chef Chuck. Oh, damn, with the butter and the... This Ooh, shit is like the Dexter. Wow, the I would eat that fish. Fucking okay, all Dexter right. Dexter opening right here. Damn, son, I see you with the chef skills. I tell you what, guys. I want to learn how to cook more things. Rana. We're actually doing stuff this Just week. Just look up recipes online. Uh-oh. Rebecca. Rebecca. You look lovely. Are you sitting here in the dark? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Oh, my God. The afternoon I've been. Ah, uh, okay. He's covered. Two hours ago, I take I the sea bass out. No sooner is it prepped and resting than, boom, power goes down. Wow, wow. I get on the phone. That's the one. He doesn't want to tell her about the his condition yet. The deadbeat at 512 San Cristobal hasn't been paying his bills. And of course, I'm 215. They say they'll have it on again. Ha ha. In the meantime, I'm dress I'm mix up, some eh? camping gear for my neighbors. That's funny. That means like Jimmy kind of got it so from something. <laughs> Maybe. Go to a restaurant? How about we just rough it? Why not? It'll be fun. We'll do an old cuisine camp out. Yeah, these people in their fucking lingo, bro. Yeah, I know, right? But lawyers over here. Get the fuck out of here. I've never said that in my wow, life. Wow, dude. Jimmy wingman you and everything. Oh Damn, bro. Fuck I Chuck, dude. Fuck Chuck. Work. Oh, shit. I, I, I hate that thing. I feel like I'm on a leash. Uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Hi, dear. Andre. No, I'm just at dinner. What's up? Oh, no, I, I know <laughs> that they're coming in late on bar 16. Yeah, I gotta feel bad for him now. Right here. She's gonna put the phone next to him. I swear to God, do it. I know, Ben, get away. His face. See the light like spilling out of there. 
Oh, do you want me to get away! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro, no one wants to hear you talk on the fucking phone. Like, yeah, I hate have your conversation out, like, away from people. He threw it on the phone! It is incredibly bad manners God damn it, to Jeff. answer a cell so phone you throw in company. It? Oh my god. It's very rude. I'm, I'm, I may have overreacted. That was very abrupt. No! I understand. You crazy. Jesus. All right, well, I'm this leaving. Is why we're okay, up. well, this yeah. has uh, been a great Stevie, evening. You can't let her leave like this. Just tell her what's going on. No. Would you rather she think you're a raging prick than know the truth? No. Hi, Andre. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I dropped the phone. She answered the phone again. That was a long little beginning intro. Man, fuck Chuck. Yeah. That was a good little context though. I literally feel like she would have understood. I don't, feel I don't feel bad at all. Whose cup is that? I'm looking for someone with a light touch. Yeah, yeah, this is some chicanery right here that he's doing. I don't think so. Did you guys hear what it meant? No. I I just, the use of trickery to achieve a political or legal purpose. Oh, so not a chicken part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, chicken, I mean, technically, chicken. Gus's chicken farm would be some chicanery. He's it's, using you know, trickery to stay legal. It's, it's, it's chicanery. You know, you use a conveyor belt with the chickens, it's a chicanery. <laughs> Kim, I knew you were good, but I didn't know you were this good. I'm yeah, glad Kim! Good. We couldn't have done it without you, and I hope you realize this means a whole lot of work coming your way. Oh, oh hell yes. That's, that's great. It makes a big difference. Well, you don't sound like it's great. You can jump up and down, right. That's okay. Karen, you got jump. She's, she's, trying, she's trying to be professional. There is something you need to hear before we get any deeper in. Oh, fuck. It's about your former attorney. Charles thinks that Jimmy somehow took control of your documents while he was working on them at his home. He believes Jimmy transposed the address numbers. Charles contends that Jimmy took the documents pertaining to the Rosella branch and while Charles was indisposed, photocopied and doctored them. That's pretty Baroque. That is very Baroque. Baroque. Super Baroque. I think it could make some noise in public. Soon. I wanted to tell you this in the spirit of full disclosure. I thought it was better if you That's were That's beret. Free. You know, cray. <laughs> you were both knew what it was. I didn't know what the fuck this means. I, I didn't know what it was. I was just saying. <laughs> it has to be crazy, right? Baroque is, uh, is like too far fetched. It's far fetched. It's beret. Okay, yeah, whatever it <laughs> was. Miguel is swinging. He's not going to screw me out of the best outside council I've ever had. Damn, Kim! It's really good that she gave him the heads up. Yeah. yeah Always be a head of shit. Yeah. We can be sure it's not going to be a problem. I am. Mesa Verde isn't involved in any way, shape, or form. Good. Better so, buy it. Man, if somehow they get pulled into this, that's going to suck. For they're going to. I don't know how, but they're going to. Why are you saying that? Because, I mean, like, it's all connected. They're, 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 they just. No, she stayed ahead of it. They just had dialogue about it. There's no way, dude. Okay, this is it. Uh, the exit like, sign is still on. Dude, I fucking hate this guy. Chuck? Yeah, I just hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm like indifferent about him. He's annoying as fuck, but I don't think he's the devil. Maybe you don't need to testify at all. No, I do. I'm the only person who can adequately explain the context of that tape. Otherwise, the defense will tear it to shreds. Maybe there's no need to put you through the ringer like this. This isn't about me or my health. This is about PR. What about your fucking ego? You lost a client. One of my jobs is to safeguard the firm's reputation. This is not the time to worry about how we look. This is about. You just said it's about PR. Jesus you Christ. just said it was about PR. Yeah, but he was. He was that's not what. I, I know, but like he's fucking. He's a hypocrite. It was a conclusion that he was coming to. He wasn't saying it just about PR. He was coming to a conclusion that's what Hamlin was getting at. I thought Chuck said it was about PR, and then he said it's not about what people think of us. Yeah, no, he said Chuck, it's about PR, but that's like, Let that, there be that was his conclusion. Oh, 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 Howard said it's about PR. Yeah. Howard oh, might be. Howard said it without saying it, and Chuck was like, oh, this is about PR, isn't it? Is oh, okay, 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 okay. Might be, might be. You've already read Mr. McGill's pre-prosecution statement, but there is another side to this story. One not about calculation, but about two brothers. Two brothers. Whose relationship, after years of strain, finally broke. Add two more brothers, and that's a really we good movie. That after you have the complete picture, you'll understand James McGill is an asset to our legal community, and he should remain a full member of it in good standing. What do these fuckers have? Thank you. What is going on? Thank you. They're, yes. they're gonna play the brotherly card about how there's been tension for years. I don't know, man. They got some pictures. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you testified you've known my client for. Some time. Francesca back How long exactly? Nearly 10 years. How did you come to know him? This is so fucking cool. <laughs> She's got him on the stand. 
How'd you feel when you found out he'd become a lawyer? Surprised. Did you consider taking him on as an associate? We did, briefly. Sounds like you didn't hire him, why not? The partners decided it would be best to avoid the appearance of nepotism. Nepotism? Your firm is Hamlin, Hamlin and McGill, right? <laughs> 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 Which partner was the most concerned with nepotism? Charles McGill. Jimmy's own brother blocked him. Objection. How are the hiring practices of Hamlin and Hamlin? Sit the fuck down, asshole. It's relevant to understand the relationship between these brothers. Don't stray too far. Charles McGill is not the subject of this hearing. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Eventually, he was hired by the firm of Davis and Maine. I'd be happy to say more about that. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> when Charles Jimmy was struggling to build his solo law practice, and yet every single day, without fail, he brought his brother yep. food, even his favorite newspapers. Isn't that right? He did. Could you speak to the terms of Charles's leave of absence? It was an FMLA leave. Anything more is confidential. But you can confirm it was due to mental illness, Objection. correct? Objection. Charles McGill's mental health isn't at issue. This is not a competency hearing, Ms. Webster. Mr. Hamlin is not a psychiatric professional. Do you have any questions that would be more germane to his experience? I have nothing further. No, that was good. Just pried it open a little bit. Damn, look at him. We'll get the fucking... <laughs> Hamlin, uh, Howard's rocking the suit, <laughs> like, I don't want to go all that. Jesus. What the fuck is that from the 1950s? I'm delayed. 40 minutes less did you. I'm begging your pardon. Um, the defense requests a moment to review, if we could. When you're ready. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're going to be doing... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wow, because of Francesca's yeah, flight? No, I remember the, the guy is supposed to be breaking yeah. in or something. Yeah. In some ways, I could say the guy hired. I admire the truth. You'd go to such lengths to humiliate me. Kim deserves me severity, not you. Thought you'd just say, oh, Damn. crap, I made a mistake and go on with your life like a normal person. No, sound good, bro. How the fuck are they? There's no way to recover from this. Like, you do realize you just confessed. Oh my god, yes. it's not good. Oh, the whole thing sounds so bad. I was just kidding, I was lying. That's so bad, bro. That was so bad. Nah, that's, that was terrible. Uh, I left it in the car. <laughs> but he didn't. He's gonna let it ring yep. right when he's on the stand. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that would be an asshole thing to but do. But that's why they showed that scene in the first, that's why they started uh, with that scene. He can take a single phone ringing, right? We saw him like... I mean, he freaked out with that, with when he was on that date, or whatever. No, that was like when he went down, like, that was like when he first, when he first got yeah, the condition. I know, but I mean, like, why would they... I'm, I'm, per, I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna parallel. Fucking, fucking... Look, he's dealing with these lights here. Hey! You all! You all! That was a big guy. That was a big guy. <laughs> That's What'd you so do? Fucking awesome. It's what did you do? Oh, oh, was that was that him? Yeah. That was him. What'd you do? <sighs> and he puts them in his pocket. Uh, so Mike knew Huel. Or not Mike, the vet I think, guy. I think he, just, guy I think he just put pocket in I think he She's put a phone in his pocket. It's oh, yeah, gonna ring. The whole truth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're just gonna they're gonna show his mental illness rather than like fucking try to testify about it. Without physical evidence, I felt that a recorded confession, if I could get one, was my best bet. And at the time, would you say that you were in possession of your faculties? But you do sound somewhat unhinged on the recording. What you heard was theater, a performance. Play acting. Uh, Can we talk about your disease for a moment? I'd like everybody here to be on the same page about it. It is not recognized by any medical EHS. anything. Maybe they're gonna call this the chicanery, the EHS. <laughs> I have only one more question for you. Do you, Do you hate your brother? brother? Oh god, here's what he's practicing. I love my brother. He has a way of doing the worst things for reasons that sound almost noble. But what I know for sure is that the law is too important to be toyed with. Yeah, he's a dick wad. It's guy, he's saying the perfect cheap. things. The rule of law. No, oh, oh, my God. God. oh, that's the flight that was delayed. Because Francesco was supposed oh, to pick her up. Oh, yeah, you didn't know about that, Chucky. Oh, Rebecca. I thought they were gonna bring the doctor in to say that his Yeah, DHS but is. like they said, like doctors haven't confirmed, so it's like her, you know. True, oh true. my god, they brought him Rebecca. Sorry, um, Chuck, I wish you told me. I, I can't believe what you've been going through. Because all this is so stressful for me. Is that what Jimmy told you? In spite of everything that's happened between the two of you, he, he cares. What exactly did he say? Well, that you had been sick, allergic to electricity. He <laughs> sent me pictures of <laughs> electricity. <laughs> I'm gonna be in town for a few days. I would love to spend some time with you, but right now I, I think I should go. No, just surprised, that's all. I mean, why would you come Please. to this court hearing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's awfully you weird. Sure? You've been sold a bill of goods, Rebecca. I want you to see what's what. Ugh. 
Oh, dude, you ain't gonna get fucked. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 there's a phone in his pocket, bro. He'll, 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 he'll put pocket in him. The recorder, it must have hurt like hell for you to touch that. There was a degree of discomfort, that's true. Tell him, you know, what your house looked like at the time of the recording. I covered most of the walls with foil scrim craft insulation. Why'd you think a bunch of shiny plastic would make me say anything? Isn't it because you knew that it was precisely the thing that would worry me so much that I'd say anything to talk you down? Objection. Okay, this is wrong? good, this is good. He's gonna say he, he said what he had to say to get Chuck to stop being crazy. Crazy about that. As I've said, I was playing up my condition. You think your house is normal? Can I call your attention to exhibit nine? Mike's pictures. Exposed wires. There's a camp stove. There's a lantern on top of newspapers. You call this normal? A prophylactic measure for a physical medical condition. Did the doctor who granted me guardianship for you think this was a physical condition? <laughs> The panel has already ruled that Mr. McGill's mental health is not at issue. No, the state bar opened the door to this on direct when the witness talked about his supposed play acting. Allowing me to follow up on cross is only reasonable. We discussed the Dude, he's a good lawyer. Yeah. Disability. My brother hates me. Uh, he claims that he lied to me to get me to tell the truth. And I'm telling you, I lied to my brother to make him feel better. Which yep, of us you is. believe depends on how we all understand the mind of Charles McGill. Mm. Oh, damn, he's good, bro. Talk about when these symptoms first started. It was shortly after you were divorced. Is that right? Mm. Oh, yes. damn. Yes! You think the stress of I'm about to fuck your life up, dude. When was the last time you two saw each other? Objection. This is not family court. We're not here to relitigate the witnesses. Divorce. Sit the fuck down, Let's you chump. I'll tell you why my brother brought my ex-wife to this hearing. The last time I saw her, I covered up my illness. I'm sorry I deceived you, Rebecca. You a liar. You lying ass liar. He's hoping this will break me down. Split me apart at the seams like a murderer confessing on an episode of oh. Barry Mason. He's going to go to the phone call. That's going to show it. Uh, Is there a phone call? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but he's just showing that this doesn't affect him. An ex can affect him, but a phone call can't. This illness, what does it feel like? There's a tightness in my chest, difficulty breathing, and pain. Does it hurt right now? There's always some discomfort, yes. But I very much appreciate the indulgence of the panel for their accommodation. He's just anxious. I can handle this. Yeah, from... phone call time, baby! Yeah! Louis <laughs> Francesca's the goat. Right, so with the lights out, you don't feel them. If the current's not flowing, no. Intensity drops off with distance per the inverse. Oh spread. my god. You brought him in? That's kind of the dangerous. Way it is. So if I had a small battery, say, from a watch or something, and I got it close to you, close to your skin, you'd know. I would feel it, yes. Can you tell us where the nearest source is right now? <laughs> Jimmy, do you have something in your pocket? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. My cell phone. From this distance, you should feel it, and you don't. Do you? Mr. McGill, you were warned to leave your electronics outside. May I? You son of a... Just as I thought. There's no battery in here. You removed the battery. Sorry little trick, isn't it? Yeah, you got me, Chuck. Oh. Dead to rights. What about your pocket? I removed the battery. Can't feel the electrical Objection. current in your pocket? You, you've taken all the leeway you're getting, Mr. McGill. Wrap it up fast. What the fuck? God, Jimmy, don't you know by now this is real? It's a physical response to stimuli. It's not a quirk. Can you reach into your breast pocket and tell me what's there? Ha ha ha! Do you recognize that man in back? His name is Huel Babineau. He's on our witness list. You bumped into him in the stairway. He'll testify he planted this fully charged battery on you over an hour and a half ago. An hour and 43 minutes. An hour and 43 minutes. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Ooh. And he felt nothing. It's, it's, your shit's going down. If he was schizophrenic, it wouldn't take away from the fact that the I defendant... I am not crazy. <laughs> you crazy. There it is. Hey, hey. Your reputation's down the hill. I am not crazy. <laughs> I know he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. I just couldn't prove it. Mr. McGill, please, you don't have to go. You think in. this is something? You think this is bad? This, this chicanery? Chicanery. He's done worse. <laughs> That's billboard. Are you telling me that a man just happens to fall like that? He orchestrated it. Jimmy. Damn. What an ass. He defecated through a sunroof. <laughs> what was I thinking? You're done. He'll dude. never yeah. change. You're done. You yeah. sure, you sure that you hate him? Change. Always the same. Couldn't keep his hands out of the cash drawer. But not our Jimmy. This just shows that he boy. hates his brother from a long Man, time now. A long I should have stopped him when I had the chance. And you, you have to stop him. You. Yeah, you fucked up. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my Ooh. god, you crazy. Wow, this 
was an edit. Look at Howard. Ew. Mm. Chuck loses. Kid feels bad though. L. Oh, this is I, I kind of feel bad for her, but you know. I don't feel bad. He at got. All. He couldn't even feel the battery. Bad. That's it's all in your fucking head, bro. Yeah, you couldn't bro. even. If you didn't see it. You wouldn't even knew it was there. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Fuck your condition. Yeah. Great actor, though. Great. Yeah. Actor. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 fuck this guy, but great actor. That, was good. That, that, that whole push Dolly into him, where he was yeah. counting everything. Yeah, that bro. Happened in the show. Do you have anything else? <laughs> you done, bro? That he just no. cracked you. No. I mean, doesn't Jimmy feel bad? You played your brother so hard. Yeah, I bet Jimmy feels he bad. He got played before with that's his true, illness. That's he he true, was yeah. amping up his illness for him. So this is just like... No, man. He's helped his brother so much, bro. No, I bet you Jimmy feels bad. Oh, you feel the exit sign now? It's going to end right here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yo. But, but I don't, I don't know like what the verdict would be because he like he lit. I I can't believe he admitted to like, oh, the heel thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't yeah. believe he straight up admitted that. But you I'm can not, do that no, shit. He, he did that. I mean, he can, like, he, you he, cannot he, do that in the middle of a fucking. Yeah, well, he, he used him as a witness. He used him as a witness. Yeah, and he plays the record player. Why can't they plant that same shit? Uh, yeah, but dude, you're like in court. You can't just like. Put something in somebody's pocket and admit that as evidence. Like, that's I mean, not, I guess they can in the in the you, safe bar. You, know, you can't, but also because he did, it now dismisses a lot of what. Well, I, like, was it, doing it, it's like, not it's not technically like it technically by the book that shouldn't mean anything. But now that it's out in the light, it's like hard for it to not mean anything. Yeah, like, you know wow. what I mean. Like, like, that was <laughs> crazy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Dude, like smart it, moves. He Saul. loses Ooh. it. He lost it. Dude. Like he literally recalls from like their childhood that he hates him. Like and that just shows like he'll go to any extent to like yeah. to like I'm just yeah. like hate. This was literally a family I'm, matter. I'm, I'm now not even like something. a state thing. It was dude. a family <laughs> matter. But you know, like uh, Chuck is an asshole. But a part of him has a point. Jimmy did steal from the cash drawer. His mom well, did like him. He's just, he's just good at being yeah. a suck up, you know. And so like a, because Chuck was like a hard worker, maybe he thought that would pay off, but like it it didn't. So I can see why jealousy stemmed, but yeah, he fucked up right there because he, well, he broke. Michael he Michael broke. McKean, Michael Michael McKean, yeah. Michael yeah. McKean is the actor. He's, he's been around Phenomenal. for a minute. He's Phenomenal. good. Phenomenal Dude. acting chops, but fuck that character. I don't feel bad for him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was so such like, a good way it's to prove. Literally, wow. It's fuck literally all in his head. It. Yeah. So like. It happened after his divorce, so could this just be like some intense like anxiety? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just he's just and he's just like just replacing something. you in another thing instead exactly. of like dealing with the problem. Because that's what the exactly. doctor at the hospital said too in season one. Because like his bed was on. Yeah, she turned the bed on. Yeah. She turned yeah. the bed on. He just replaced it with another problem to focus on that instead of like admitting to his like divorce and dealing with his problems. Like, yeah. and that's crazy. Oh, dude, he just literally just like took all of his weaknesses and just like just shoved it in his face. It was really, really. It was kind of harsh when you think about it, man. Nailed he it, bought man. his ex-wife in the big. Yeah, that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then on top of that, just like, just Saul just went in. Like he's just so good at being like, no, it's all that matters. What's in his head? And I'm telling you right now, I said what I said to calm his ass down. He fucking used that card. Yeah. And then I mean, he was like, yeah, that's my voice. That's me. I'm like, and because he and he like owned up to it too. That's just like, I mean, but, it, but it, it makes sense too because he, he had all the shit on the walls and his brother was hamming up the illness. So like, because I mean, if they, if they're willing to be okay with Chuck recording that without Jimmy's knowledge, I think that's why they let the heel thing slide. Yeah. Hey, good introduction but, to heel. But by the way. here's the thing though, but they, know. they know the truth. They know that Jimmy really did falsify it and he admitted it. So they can't just turn that blind eye. They can't just look the other way. He has to like. No. The guy in court says no, yes. They and said, and no. by the book, they can't really look at no, it. Like, oh, we, don't, we don't know the verdict yet. We don't know what they're going to no. do. I mean, he, said he's, he said anything to like make his brother calm down. And he literally said Yeah, that. you could say to make anything your brother calm he down. Said, but he like, said anything. That's a lie. He's but he did anything. No, yeah. but he did break and enter and he destroyed that tape. Why? Why would he do that if the tape didn't matter? The anger of his... And, because yeah. he wanted his brother to fuck him over over nothing. Dude, this is... I'm sorry, this wobble. He's he's good. He's really, really good. He's... Wow, Jimmy! Wow. Great moves. Keep it up. He's a fucking <laughs> phenomenal. That's why he's a criminal lawyer, dude. You this, this, For all these this chicanery is gonna fucking. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Yeah. Damn. When somebody says I'm not, it's crazy. so funny that, uh, that that's what you say. People be like, oh shit. <laughs> he's like, I have, I have EHS, acute electricity allergy. That's not real. AIDS was not 
fucking <laughs> yeah, like, don't bring Maddie AIDS Johnson was not into found this. until 1986. <laughs> HIV was not the cause. Oh, like, man. It was oh, a funny God. beginning of the episode, though. Like, he, like, just throws her phone across the room. I'm like, bro. like, like that's... rather than just tell her. <laughs> yeah, that's not crazy. <laughs> he, dude, I, don't, I don't think his brother's going to be okay after this one. I think his brother's going to end up being in a mental hospital now. Maybe this will Fuck. actually help him be like, bro, no, maybe the electricity. No, 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 no. I think this is going to break him. It, yeah, he the, broke his older brother, and, bro. And, and let's not forget about, like... Maybe he'll fix him. Maybe let, he'll be like, all right, fuck this. This isn't a real disease. Yeah, maybe that will fix it. Let's, let's not forget about Kim being on the floor. I think one of my favorite parts was the nepotism thing. It's like, isn't your firm called Hamlin? Yeah. Hamlin? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the other Hamlin? <laughs> but you saw, you saw the smirk that Hamlin gave, though. He's like, damn, that was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even Howard's, Howard's like, like, touche? Touche? <laughs> Howard's, Howard's the shit. I like Howard. Yeah, yeah Howard's the basic. <laughs> I, I, like, that's the thing. You think Howard Howard is a douchebag, but Howard's actually the most like. No, yeah, Howard's actually. <laughs> if anything, I feel like when Charles is gone, H- Howard's gonna hold Hamlin down, and he's an easy. I think. Thing. I think. I think I, Charles is gonna be gone. Hamlin's gonna be. Stuck, I feel and once. Then Kim's gonna go to Hamlin. So this Honestly, is this if is McGill yeah. left. Hamlin would have done. Yeah. So much yes. Better. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Pat. You are so right because Hamlin, like Hamlin, Hamlin and Wexler. Yeah. I can see it happening yeah. because. Because why not? Because she's got Miss Averted. They want yeah, Miss Averted. Yeah, and then on back. top of that, bro, she's just such an awesome lawyer. Like for she him, told the truth. Man. Yeah, and then on top of that, bro, she literally just cornered his ass and made him go <laughs> choke up. You make your boss choke up like that, or your Xbox, man. I don't know. You think they'll take her back? Like she just started her own firm. I, why I would could, she want I could, to? I could see. I don't know if she would want to, but I could see them extending the hand just to yeah. get Mesa Verde. Because Mesa Verde, because so. Mesa Verde is a long-term client. Yeah. Like for, uh, for another Wexler. another yeah. goat aside from Huel is Francesca, bro. Yeah. She's, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> she's there. She's like, I'm down with all this morally gray shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, his ex-wife in the airport, I'll let Huel in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to so Huel came from the dentist. That dentist is like the root for a lot. <laughs> the next show is about him. I literally thought like he was going to go down and just going to make some the changes. Bad, 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 bad. A veterinarian, yeah. Because yeah. in the Breaking Bad, Huel was like security at Better Call, at, at the at Saul's yeah. Yeah. stop. And, and, and Francesca was his co-worker. Way bigger, too. Like he was actually, hey, are we going to see that one like dude? Uh, Huel's dude. Uh, Bill Burr? Bill yeah. Burr. Yeah, I hope so. I hope bro. so. It's so funny. I hope so. I really, See, this really is Huel. We're going to do everything we can to keep Huel happy. Huel, you happy? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Even if it's something small, like after this court case, we see Huel getting into a car with his buddy and it's Bill Burr. It's like, it's already gone there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope. I hope. Oh, man. Me too. Oh, me too. Man. That was a good episode. Damn. Yeah, that was really a good really episode. good one. Are we watching another one? Yes, yes. we are. Yes. yes. All right, guys. We will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Better Call Saul with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Joe, Lewis, Mike, Mr. Big Stuff, Ruby, Sean, Jesse, Smitty, Dangerous, Allison, Tristan, Carson, Diet Dan, Edward, Kelly, Keyboard Junkie, the NYR Van, and ZJP. And we will see you all next time.